I have in front of me here a 2.1 mm DC socket with a terminal connection on the back. So you can see the front and back elevation here. This is the socket and this is the terminal block. So why would we use this? Well, we would use this on the power unit end uh, of a CCTV um, setup to take the power, run it through um, something like Cat5 cabling and run power down to the far end to power a camera. Okay, so on the power unit end would have this type of socket. And then if we move over here, on the far end of where the Cat5 cable terminates, it would run into this uh, terminal block here. And if we just rotate this to the side, it comes out as a DC jack here. And we'd use this to power the camera itself. So let's look um, at, at the other part uh, that we'd normally use in this jigsaw, which would be a B and C uh, ballon here, okay? So once again, uh, we would have on the front here a B and C connector. And in this part here in the back would have a terminal block. Okay, and what we use then is these in conjunction with a Cat5 cable. So we use the, the, the 2.1 millimeter DC socket for running the power, and we use the BNC then for running uh, the picture from the camera back to, we'll say, either a monitor or more normally a DVR. So I'm just going to go quickly now through um, the component parts that make this up, do the assembly on it, and then demonstrate this actually working. Okay, so I have here in my left hand an actual power unit, which you can see here. So we wanted to convert this from the, uh, uh, into a Cat5 cable. So what we use here is we just push this 2.1 millimeter socket here on like this, okay? And we, what we do then is we connect a Cat5 uh, uh, cable normally to run the cable from there to the, to the camera, which we can see on the far end here. So we need to be able to convert from the Cat5 um, over to a 2.1 millimeter socket. So we'd use this to do that. Okay, so you can see it there, which is terminate the Cat5 cablings here. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to pull this cable that we've pre-terminated and show you. So what I have here is, um, just to give you an idea of the makeup of Cat5 cable, it's actually going to be made of uh, four twisted pairs, so a total of four cables. And they're colour coded, basically orange, blue, green and brown, with mixtures of white and that, that particular colour mixed together. Okay, so how would we actually go and wire these up? Well, if I take the example here of the green, if I look at this block here in the 2.1 millimeter socket, what I'll do is I'll come along and I make sure that these is unscrewed and I have quite a fine uh, Phillips screwdriver here. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to grab this green cable here. Now I've pared down about five centimeters at the end of the cable, untwisted the pairs and then come along and I've um, exposed the copper core uh, in the center of this cable. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna screw this down here. Sorry, I'll do this quite awkwardly for the sake of the camera. So what I've done there is we actually locked this in here. So we we're using the green cable here to run the positive. And what we'll use is the green and white to run the negative on this side. And if we went down to the far end, uh, which will be terminated with a jack rather than a socket, um, which I have here, what we'll do is make sure that we have the green cable again on the plus side and the green and white cable again on the minus side, okay? So I'm just gonna remove this here now. So we've already done this exact process here with the, the, the cable that I've pre-terminated here. So what I'm going to do here now is just quickly stand up. I'm going to grab this cable here. I'm going to push it in. So now what we're doing is we're taking the power from the power cable. It's running here into the 2.1 millimeter socket here. And on the far end, we can see it's through the blue and white cables here. So on the far end here, come along and we power. So now at this point, we actually have power running from um, this power unit through the Cat5 cable into this camera. And the next thing we need to do is actually run the picture from the camera over to the television. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna come along and I'm gonna use this Cat5 cable again, which in this case is using the orange cables. And I'll just run it along to this cable that's connected into the back of the TV. And we can see now it's working. And if I just come along here, we can see then we have the camera here, and I'll just just the angle so I can see myself there, and that's it. So that, that entire system is now up and running, and it's all running, and the power is being supplied by a 2.1 millimeter um, socket that I started this demonstration with. 
So you can see it's a relatively straightforward one. So, you know, if you have very high amperage cameras, um, you can come along and say, and you can make a decision that you'd use all four um, of these cables, would say, on both sides, if you're ca carrying very high amperage. But normally, would say, with single cameras, things like this, particularly cameras that we sell in the range where they have very low amperage requirements, you get away with using a single camera here, even on quite long runs, 30 or 40 meters, it'll run quite well through this. So that's anyway an overview of the 2.1 millimeter um, DC uh, socket uh, with terminals uh, block that's available on the TV trade website.